one of the most hyped and most wish listed games on Steam. Manor Lords. How do we create a manor? Well, first we need our lord. That's pretty simple. Choose the guy with the most fantastic mustache. Then you gotta create your badge. Make something cool. And then pick something really intimidating, like an eagle, or a lion, or the holy hand grenade from Worms. It kind of looks like it's blowing up there. I love it. And then we gotta choose the goal of this campaign. What is our goal? To not have a goal? To grow? How about total domination? Eliminate all other lords by claiming their territory. Now there's different scenarios. The rise to prosperity is building in peace, on the edge, growing your city as fast as you can, things are all against you. But this one I find personally offensive. There's an illegitimate baron. Listen, there, there can only be one baron. We need to kill the fake baron. I mean, that's just what it is. And begin. I got fantastic armor. And look at this little humble abode. Humble abode? Humble abode. We got supplies. We got big old logs. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims upon the fools. Okay. It looks like we need to check soil fertility, and this is the map at large. We control this region. Zwia. Zwia. And one of these regions is held by the illegitimate Baron. And I think there's a bandit too. Hildebort von Baronut. A Baronut. He's, see, he's not even a true Baron, he's a Newt Baron. This is amazing. I write to you with disdain and suspicion, for I have heard much about you and your crimes, Lord Newt. Oh, this is cool. It looks like you can specialize your regions. This one looks like farming. This one's sort of like the wilderness, like cutting down trees and bees and getting hunting game. Down here looks like more industry, and to the right, it looks like trade. We've got different policies we can act, enact, and then over time, we'll get an idea of our production. But right now, we're just a couple of tents. We've got clay, and then we have a rich deposit of wild animals. And some more iron over there. Yeah, we have a ton of trees here. Hey, real quick, some of you may have seen it, some of you may have missed it. I've made a community post announcing a playtesting Discord server for Big Play Games, which is my game development publisher. We're working on a lot of stuff, and we need some playtesters. We need some help. So if you guys want to be a part of that, and potentially even some community events, go ahead and join the Discord server. Now let's get back to the action. So it looks like we've only got eight timber. So I think that the first thing we're gonna need, the logger camp is gonna eventually be set up here and it looks like we transport most things using our ox, whose name is Nickel? Wait, Herman? Herman's the ox, right? <laughs> oh, that's an unfortunate name. So we'll just speed up time a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful things are when they get built. We'd like to get production going. We've got a total population of 10. Looks like 10 people, five different families, although it looks like we have eight men and two women, so I'm not entirely sure how, who gets the date, who is d decided. Maybe the guy who owns the ox is like, well, listen here, I've got a big ox. And the lady's like, well, you know what, that'll work. And there's the trees going down. The animations for this game for like a city, like kind of town builder are pretty good. The animations of construction, of the logging camp, the trees getting felled, the oxen moving back and forth. It's looking pretty decent. So it looks like our storage is, oh, we're storing the logs over here now. And we've got four logs in there, but we're gonna be able to produce more. Everybody's homeless, right? We need to give them houses. Now we can have a hunting camp and a forager hut. And if I'm not mistaken, we've got a pretty decent selection of berries but they are seasonal and we have fantastic wild animals. 37 out of a potential 40, we need to get. We only have the one ox and I think he's actually used to construct sometimes. Oh, well I guess if it's just a hunting camp, it's pretty easy. Let's get, that's pretty much all of our labor force. They're either all employed in a logging camp or in the hunting. So once we get some logs, we'll de-hire. <laughs> Sorry guys, this isn't the gaming industry in 2023 where everyone gets fired. You'll just be put on a different job. Oh, and we have exposed goods, a generic store and a pantry. Let's get those up because if it rains or if, you know, poop starts falling from the sky, I guess that would make our stuff bad. So we need a generic store. This only uses two logs and we definitely have that available. Oh my, look at how cool roads and carts are. All right, so we're gonna wanna put this near the heart of our town, which as far as I'm concerned is where the primary resources are. And we need a pantry. Now that's gonna wanna be somewhat near the food, but let's experiment with this. Wait a minute. 
Ooh, look at this. They've got locking points. Okay. This is a very interesting way of doing it. Very organic and less like grid-based construction, which normally I divert to. And then on an existing path, it's very easy to lock in. Now we've got to decide where is our farm going to be on this sprawling piece of property. And it looks like this might either be a castle or a farm. I'm gonna go ahead and say, we'll just put the granary there for now. And we'll figure it out when we figure it out. Now, since we've got the logs and we need some people to construct this and everybody's employed doing other works, families without assignment will work on construction. But once these two storage facilities are done, and our basic resources are protected and out of the elements and flying poop, then we're gonna work on houses. But remember that our overarching goal is to kick out the evil Baron in one of these two territories. The other one is filled with outlaws. D is it a pleasure to meet outlaws? Dear outlaws, it is a pleasure to meet. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, yet another dog has crawled here. Remember, we are Lord Baron of the Holy Hang Grenade Empire and we will not suffer any bandits or false barons. So once these supplies get put in, is it like, okay, homeless people's tents, got it. Let's connect the town, nice straight paths. Gosh, the building in this game is relatively intuitive. I think those paths will connect. Oh my gosh, they do, at a very hard right corner. Maybe vulnerable to weather damage. Well, somebody needs to pick them up and put them in the building. Aha, there's the issue. There's nobody working the storehouse and there's nobody working the granary either. So presumably, yeah, they'll get the supplies and put them in the proper buildings. Then after that, we can unemploy them. Family requests more markets for their stalls. Well, you're gonna need houses first and I don't think we're gonna need two people hunting because our storage is pretty good. We've got hides and meat. So now it's time to build where people live. A burgage plot. They're not called houses, they're burgages, which is a word I just learned today. Whoa, look at this. They're very flexible. I like that. I like flexibility, because in some ways I have no idea what I'm doing, and I know exactly what I'm doing. Well, how do I know if it's properly large enough and in charge enough? Oh, there we go. Okay, wow, that's only three houses? That's three burgage plots. Welcome to Baron's Burgers and Burgage. That, that could be a pretty trendy medieval-like place. Now, they're not probably aware of what franchising is yet, but don't worry, that's why I am the lord of this manor. Some might even say, <clears throat> the manor lord. Let's see if we can't do this. I wouldn't want to be the house that's right next to the person who's collecting, you know, cutting up deer and leaving the entrails around. All right, I need more people on construction, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of micromanagement. We have plenty of logs. We'll have one person work in the food and then all the other four are gonna be laborers working on our burgage. Bur it's just a weird word. Oh my, but look at the houses going up. This is a game that I've had my eye on, but I haven't watched a lot of the promotional content because I wanted the experience to be just organic and experience it for like the first time. And I know that other games have this, but this is, it's got a charm all its own. Family members join one of the settlers. Do we still have just 10? We have 13 people. I need more burgaging. There's four, we've got one more house. Who wants to be right next to the deer entrails? Look at that. I mean, at least you got beef jerky, right? Well, venison jerky, because uh, we're not eating our ox now, are we? Now, how many of our logs do we use? Guys, we've just reached a new settlement level for Zvaya. Do we want to rename this? I mean, we're the, named after the Holy Hand Grenade, so Grenadius. Grenadius! Welcome to Grenadius. We're all Grenadins here. A new message! Armament delivery? Let's form the militia! So we got 14 people, no population growth because approval's low. There's been homelessness in the recent 30 days and previously, and that's why my approval rating is relatively low. I'm gonna give you guys, wow! If you get a well, there's like, okay, that's cool. I guess this is the water table and you can even see it interregionally to see where maybe like the bigger sources of water are. But fortunately, a lot of the water converges right here. Now on our army tab, oh, we can form a militia. Militia footmen, spear militia, polearm militia, and archer militia. 
All of these require different weaponry. Male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. Whoa, you need 36 of militia footmen? Okay, this is where like kingdoms and castles meets total war meets a whole lot of other games like Bannerlord and whatnot. Bannerlord? Bannerlord? Hmm. I worry that I might like this game so much I'm gonna sink a, a lot of time into it. Is this beam Do you hear that? <laughs> that sound made right as the ox walked by and I thought that was something else. Whoa, and I just realized it's not fast forward times three, it's 12x. Unassigned families needed for construction of the well. Okay, well, who's not working? Who's working too hard? Deforestation killed berry bushes? Well, we've got 64 to 64. So that's probably the next thing I'll want is berries. And then we're gonna eventually get like stone. Well, we can relocate our logging camp. So if the berries are here, and I also don't want them, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna chop this wood down. I like grid-based systems because I live in America, but a long diagonal road is gonna be fine. The well's finished. Sell their produce to the burgage plots. So I would imagine we want that across from the burgage. What a funny, I love that. I hate the word and I love it at the same time. We're gonna have a nice central marketplace here. Number of months before supplies run out. You know what we're gonna run out of? I'm pretty sure it's firewood. Yep, firewood in two months and fuel in nine months. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know what the future holds for me, which is total and utter failure in the rioting of my people. So this is a storehouse. <laughs> the paths are so interesting. Well, we'll get firewood then. I guess we're also building a burgage plot. Can I change the priority? Yes. High priority for the woodcutter's lodge, please. Look at that, everyone's like, we'll work in the rain, it's so high priority, Lord Baron. Oh, Baron, me Baron, oh boy. If we don't have a church, how are we supposed to explain where the rain comes from, me lord? All right, and it scares us into seeking a more humble living in a hovel as opposed to a larger manor. Give us a church. Okay. I shall build you a wooden church made of wood, blessed by the same person who ordained me as king of this land. <laughs> Convenient. New mercenary companies available. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want mercenaries. I can't afford them, but I want them. Hire mercenaries. Let's see what this is. Okay, so we've got the Battle Brothers, and they need 50 treasury. We've got brigands for hire and local thugs. That's really, really cool. So we don't have enough people to work on construction. Whoa, that's cool. I mean, it's called the saw pit, so naturally we would dig a pit. All right, we got a saw pit. And we want to um, start sawing that so that we can construct our church. Then we can get level two burgage plots and upgrade our town from a small village to uh, a medium village. Well, look at that. And our approval rating is going up because the market food variety is nice. My favorite thing about this game right now is just watching this ox just do the Lord's work for us, man. He is a beast. This is what this is the ascendant technology we have for transportation at this time, and I am thankful for it. We've got one stable space. What if I wanted more? Upgrade to a small stable with planks, and then we could order another ox. That's what we need. All right, give me those planks. We've got large shields, spears, hides, stone, and firewood. Wait, we got spears? Am I gonna need another one? Look at this. Okay, planks naturally are a way to upgrade existing structures. This game just gets better. It's little things like that, that just are the telltale signs of, in my opinion, a very well designed city builder. I'm getting another storehouse. I don't know if it's gonna be temporary or we're just gonna have two of them, but we're having supply chain issues. 15 planks, we're almost to 20, which will allow me to build a church. That'll really boost my approval rating in town. Resources stolen by nearby bandits? You sons of biscuits. Get off my land. It is time to build us a shrubbery. No, a church. We'll build the church right here. We can take the people off planks so that they can construct this town, which we are going to move up to the highest of priorities here in the empire. It's an empire of, you know, like 18 people, but still. It's our empire, guys. This is gonna be the biggest construction we have yet, and I can't wait to watch it go up. 
But everyone's currently gathering all the resources. The ox is doing his thing. Whoa. Is that log already chopped? Sort of? It kind of is. Oh, look at it. It's going on. Let's put up the stone superstructure. The roof beams. I love how they can balance them only one at a time. That's very impressive. Like, I don't I don't think... We got some advanced technology. The chimney or the, the steeple. And inside are the people. Dear Lord, please make it stop raining here in jolly old Grenadius. We don't like the rain. Hey! All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Now that we've got this, it's a burgeoning plot. And now we need a clothing stall supply. And then we can presumably upgrade this to tier two. Or some of the houses, anyway. So we've got six houses and 18 people. So three people can live in each house? Is that how the math works out? This is our little town so far. Like, look at it. Look at it from a bird's eye. If you were a bird and you had an eye and you looked down, this is what it would look like. It's quite pretty. And through them woods, the mysterious woods is the bandits. Somewhere out there, anyway. Where if we do things right, they'll meet the pointy end of our various types of sticks. Oh, man, we're going to run out of bread. And then they're going to not like that. And then we're going to have meat and berries, so at least we'll be able to maintain. We're going up to 62%, all right? The church level is also increasing things expeditiously. We have a little bit of homelessness up in here. All right. So we got 18 people. Yeah. I'm seeing how the math works. Only two people for to burgage. Diseases? We don't want them. They're kicked out. All diseases need to leave the town at once. Thank you. And that's how you handle medicine in the medieval ages, I'm pretty certain. Look at that house on the end there. This is so wild. Like, do you guys want some really weird <laughs> houses? <laughs> yeah. But this will allow more people to come into town, and then I'll have them working a lot of the entry-level jobs. Living space. How many families can this region currently accommodate? 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 times 2 is 22. I think that's how the math works. Six level 1 families. Well, good. We have extra supplies. Hopefully the bandits don't move in. So this is what the one I'm curious about. They've got like... They were sort of like a house and then like a little baby house off the side. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Let's check rye fertility. Wow, we got the rye, the Ryland. We're gonna call this the rye land as opposed to the Rhineland. Did you see what I did there? Remove it, you idiot. By holding the magical alt button down, my lord. Would you like to remove this road? What about this one? What about all of these? I would like to remove all of them. Thank you. You see, the man was... Oh my gosh, there's one log. Look at this. We gotta like herp the derp the derp. I don't want to do that. I would like you to move these supplies. Somebody pick them up. Pick up those supplies. Quickly. A new family started moving in? Well, perfect. Get to work. Yeah, grids. <laughs> All right, let's move the hitching post, which we apparently don't have anyone working. Which is the highest priority, to have an oxen house. We have 10 houses. Seven assigned workers, 21 people, and we're no longer homeless, so now we're getting market food variety plus seven and church variety plus seven. All right, once again, new mercenaries are available. Let's just check out to see what's here. Ooh, the Wayward Sons, which looks like a company of heavy archers and light archers. We've got the Ravenous Vultures, three light mercenary infantry armed with what looks like swords and shields. And then these guys, the Battle Brothers, mercenary spearmen and light infantry. I love this. I can't wait to hire mercenaries. Like I know that sounds, that doesn't sound funny. That sounds awesome. We're here to conquer the evil Baron and the brigands. Whoa, it, the auto feels interesting. See, plot three out of four, if I could just like... That's so weird how it does that. It is what it is. Construction is funny. Yeah. We definitely need those houses because we have a lot more people joining. We need a field and we need a farmhouse. We're going to try putting this here. And then a field. Fields and manor lords needs to be very large to be effective. But also take a long to plow by hand. A s <laughs> Pardon me? We need a field size of about one Morgan. I've never met the man. Morgan. Oh, look, it's going to tell me how big a Morgan is. This is only 0.5 Morgans, my lord. This is 1.7 Morgans. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, that's about close to one Morgan. We have Morgan. Behold, one Morgan has been sighted in Baron's Fief. So this is cool. That is a rather large plot. 
but it seems to be appropriately sized for the village that we have. Low population approval because I don't really know. Oh yeah, I guess I'm building the farmhouse as the highest. Hey, look at this. This is freaking awesome. I think we want wheat so we can grow bread. Crop rotation? Oh man, this is some really fancy, uh, fancy mechanics here. Let's burn the field. Oh, it's a pasture. That's cool. Do we want fallow? It seems easier and less seasonal than say wheat. Yeah, we're gonna keep this field. I think we're gonna do livestock. Get some cows or something. If we can get cows, we get beef and milk and that's just called lots of good stuff. Whoa, look at them birds, man. Let's shoot them with bows and arrows. That'll be easy. I guess you would need people to work here. Ah, yield will increase as it grows and is harvested in September during the harvest season. All plants, I guess, are harvested in September and it is October. So, yeah. We're about to be in winter too, that's problematic. Generic storage is still full. Well, I got two of them, so get off my back. How does one get development points? Ah, you get development points every time you upgrade this. Yes, 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 quite right, we need clothing. But I'm pretty sure to get clothing, I need sheep. We, we have hides. Sheep farm. Sheep must first be imported via livestock trader. I think we're short on houses again, but I think I created some good area for it. We're about to have our sheep farm. Oh, it's December and it is snowing out there. Pasture space, zero out of five. This is interesting. Oh, wow, that's, I wonder how many pasture space is 20. Pasture space is 35. Well, that's easy enough. A livestock trading post. We're gonna put the livestock trading post. Oh, right between. That's perfect. That makes me very happy. And we're gonna fill this thing with some sheep. And this one. Oh, look at the snow. Look at the snow. Yeah, we're definitely not in Florida, guys. It's been confirmed. I know that there were some suspicions we might be in jolly old England based off the rain, but we're definitely not in Florida anymore. Toto. Oh my goodness. Okay. I wonder how we're gonna burn through all this firewood. So we got 15 living spaces and 30 people. So nobody should be homeless. Oh, this is lovely. Seeing the oxen run along the paths and building the new logging camp. Do I want my stable to be even larger and more in charger? Stable space two out of two, okay. So presumably I'd have to make another one. I'm thinking about making another ox over here that's just deals with most of the logs, right? Cause that's a decent amount of canary. I can't really create an area I don't think that they only chop in. And they're moving all these logs from here over to here, which is, is a thing, I guess. All right, I want someone to work the livestock trading post so I can start getting sheep. Guys, this is the very beginning of our empire. And if you wanna see more, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know because I'm really enjoying being a manor lord. There's been so many games I've played. We haven't even gotten into combat yet. We can create our own militia, and then we can hire mercenaries. They could be local thugs. They could be the Brotherhood of the Forest, AKA Robin Hood, or Wayward Sons. We have just scratched the surface, and I dare say we can build a massive, massive empire sprawling this entire area, if and when we set our minds to it. So if you wanna see more, pull the trigger on the like button, let me know, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.